Welcome back everybody. Driver53 here with another short video of precision farming on Farming Simulator 19. So what this episode here today is, I want to take a look at how the fields are affected if you already have them fertilized and growing in a regular base game and then you implement precision farming because we know that you're not going to be able to get, we think we know that you're not going to be able to have an opportunity to um, put any fertilizer or anything down before you have to harvest them, right? So what we have here in Ravenport are a couple, or a field that has two stages of fertilization right now and we are going to harvest it all and we are going to uh, record how much we have and then we will come in and reset the game but this time use precision farming and do the exact same thing on the exact same field that way we can see what the difference is all right so let me show you the field info really quickly so it's field number 15 here and it's going to be canola and what we're doing is on the growth stage it's in the second stage right now which is fine because we know that one two or three it all is the same yield and then here it has two fertilizer states stages so that's what we're going to do so i'm going to go ahead and drop this down get started and this is only going to be total volume so once we're done oop, what's going on sorry everybody i don't know what is going on here Alright, so now we own it. So now let's go do this. There we go. Sorry, I got in too big of a hurry. Got all my equipment. Alright, so we're going to keep doing this all the way down. We're going to get every piece that we can off this field. And then we will uh, come back, record. I will, you know, reveal to you what the total is, record it, and then we'll come in and do the other. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, everybody. So we got the entire field done. And what we want to do now is just record the total. So let's remember that this field had two stages of fertilizer. All right. And it was canola. And it was going to be 1,000 or 15,000, I'm sorry, and 23. That's our total. 15023 liters all right so we're gonna get precision farming fired up on a new game safe and you're gonna come back and do the exact same fields and see how much we get that way we can tell how much of a detriment it is to start precision farming if you have crops in your field ready to harvest so um yeah we'll be back in a minute all right, everybody, we are back, and we now have precision farming enabled on this map. So let's go ahead and take a look really quickly at what we have. So field 15, and it's in the first stage of growth, which, like I said, we understand it's all good. So um, it, obviously we don't know what type of fertilization or anything like that it has, but if we, and it looks like it needs plowing too. Oh, that's not good. Man. So if we click on this and then here, we can see that it's got an expected yield of 105. So, I mean, it's not a horrible, I mean, it's, it's, we've seen some better ones, right? One, we're never going to get above 105 for the entire field. I don't think, um, because we don't have full loam. So, um, that's a deterrent. I don't know if I would buy this one, but anyway, um, that's another day another conversation so what we're looking at now like i said we've got this grown so when we look here we don't know anything we haven't taken any samples at all so um what we're going to do is go ahead and jump straight into it and like i said we are going to get every bit of everything off this field and then we will uh come back and report the findings so the first time through here we had fifteen thousand and twenty three liters so let's see how close we are to that all right here we go all right everybody so we got the entire field done let's go ahead and take a look at it here as you can see all the way around 
All right, so when we did this in regular base game, we had 15,023 liters. As you can see now, we're at 9,070. Wow. That's, that's, that's a lot less. A lot less. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at our menu and see what everything looks like. All right, so we're not going to know what kind of uh, land we have here, but let's um, go over to our yield and see. Holy cow. Is that 50 or 55%? I mean, that is it's horrible. And I think it's going to happen. I think if you don't wait and you do it right away, implement this precision farming, what I mean, is you are going to have very low yield potential like this. I mean, this would kill your crop. Can you imagine if you had, I don't know, Stone Valley Field, number 29, and you did this on that, and then you lost half your yield? I mean, I don't even know if you'd pay for your equipment. So, yeah. I think, man, it's just, I think the strategy is wait until you harvest and then get your soil samples that way you know what you got and you can go in there and figure it out if you've got to sell your land or not because i mean if you've got some some really awful land it may not be worth keeping um it'll be really interesting to know if we can increase the ph of the nitrogen excuse me the ph of the nitrogen levels above what they recommend just to help out and get a little bit of a more boost on these low uh, value soils. But either way, I appreciate it, everybody. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. That way I know I'm doing something right. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know, you know, are you guys going to use, what strategy are you going to use? Are you going to wait? Or are you just going to go with it? Um, you know, I just want to say, have a great day, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.